Chinese government offers Tinubu Development Blueprint for Nigeria. The Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Kui Jianchun, on Monday promised that it's his country will give the support needed to President Bola Tinubu led federal government to ensure the development of the country. Speaking during a meeting with the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, George Akume, Jianchun gave the assurance that his country would help Nigeria with tested development strategies that would better the lot of Nigerians. According to a statement by the Director of Information, OSGF, Willy Bassi, Jianchun represented or presented three documents containing developmental strategies that the country could adopt. The statement partly read, The Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Kui Jianchun, while presenting three documents to the SGF, assured Nigeria of the commitment of the government of the People's Republic of China to support the administration of Balatinubu with the workable development strategies that will turn the nation, um, turn around the nation's fortune. According to him, the documents contain a developmental strategy that serves as a blueprint for the development of the country. He emphasized the strategies would cover the following areas, infrastructure, ICT, industrialization, investment, security, technology, and agriculture, among others. He expressed his readiness and commitment to work with the present administration and further deepen the bilateral relations between the two nations. On this part, Akume assured the Chinese government of the federal government's commitment to sustain bilateral relations to boost development. He said Nigeria had been enjoying strong bilateral relations with China in areas of infrastructure, trade, and agriculture, among others, calling the Chinese government to invest more in the country to enable the present administration to accomplish its agenda. He appreciated the Chinese government for granting young Nigerian scholarships to study in their country. He also used the opportunity to appeal for more scholarships to enable Nigerian study to enable more Nigerian study in China. First of all, this is highly embarrassing. Um, and it's very, it's very scary. It's very scary. And that's why with elections and who you put in office, like it's politics. Okay. We know the bare minimum is to have a good living standard and have people of integrity, but we also need to have pride in ourselves. We need to have a mindset of building. We can't accept handouts. And I think more than just Nigeria, but Africa itself, with how we are looked and how, uh, and how we are positioned on the global stage, we're, we're giving handouts. What is the problem? You see, this is important why those that you vote into office, they need to have a certain type of thinking, like long-term sustainable successful development and like it's so it's such a shame because a lot of these countries look at the culture of china and nigeria excuse me what they've built a model that works for themselves it's such different types of culture different types of thinking because whatever you are trying to achieve if you have ideologies and you want to lay out a plan and you're organized you are also thinking of the kind of individuals you are trying to breed or you are trying to develop right and so to take china's model is to create chinese nigerians what is going on and so the embarrassing thing is that this akume individual has taken it upon itself. I mean, it's okay. Bilateral agreements, bilateral relations, it's a normal thing. The world is global. We trade. Everybody has a relationship with another. That is great. But you are basically telling the Chinese government and trying to encourage them to allow more Nigerians study in China. Does that make sense? Because at the end of the day, you are giving these people power to build you. So it's like, we're not in the meetings. We don't know what the bilateral agreements are. To be honest, as consumers of, you know, the press, the news, whatever is going on, we're probably, you know how you have Chinese whispers. By the time the core information will get to the general public, it's most likely changed in different forms. At, at this point, 
is a different information. But based on what we are given here, it all goes down to the thinking of our leaders. How do you have individuals like this representing Nigeria? You have, like, you are willing to sell your brains, like, as in your young talents, to be trained and molded by another country with different sets of values, thinking, lifestyle, and culture. So it's like, and that's why it's very important because I'm not sure who the presidential candidate was. I'm, I'm, I'm probably mixing up with either Showare or Peter B. When they talk about redesigning our future, redesigning what it means to be Nigerian, right? So it's the people that you have because. You can't, when it comes to leadership, the people should also think a certain way. But when you don't have people at the top that have that pride, that want to stand out, that want to create. I mean, we already know that we are skilled. We already know that when we go to other countries and our potentials are harnessed, we create the best results, especially as Nigerians. And we use it to brag. But at the end of the day, right, Nigeria cannot claim that it's built its talents, it's built its skills, and it's built where it is, and its success. Because Nigerians will obviously pay for knowledge education at a cost in other countries, and if you have an aim to come back and teach your people, it's, it's a whole different way of thinking. So when it comes to redesigning the country, it's so important that we put people in our governments that represent where we are going, that think ahead. And it's so sad because... It's okay to maintain bilateral agreements and, you know, have good relations with China, but we can't give them and absorb responsibility and make them train. It's like making another person train your children. Then who becomes the parent? The one that birthed the child or the one that, you know, parents the child? Now that you go into a whole different argument here, don't you? So it's honestly so sad. Um, They want to help. It's always about helping, helping, helping. It's like... Don't you lack shame? Well, it's obvious, it's obvious that you don't. But I don't think it's a good idea. I think you, where Nigeria is, it doesn't take much for Nigeria to do the right thing, to be honest. It's not rocket science. But I think that relations with China should be kept on a civil trade level. Um, and yeah, because what you're basically telling China is, we know we're not good enough to train our talent. Do it for us. Our education is not the standard. Do it for us. Come on. Put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.